The previous chapter considered common discrete distributions. This chapter considers common continuous distributions. There are four main distributions that are considered in this chapter and those distributions are the uniform, exponential, gamma, and normal distributions. But there are a few others that show up in some applications and we'll cover three of them at the end of the chapter, namely the beta and the triangular and the Weibull distributions. There were parameters that came up in discrete distributions such as n and p for the binomial distribution and lambda for the Poisson distribution. There are also parameters in continuous distributions but these parameters tend to fall in one of three groups. The first is called a location or a shift parameter. So for example when we get to the normal distribution you will see that the shorthand for the normal looks like this. So this says a random variable is normally distributed with a mean population mean mu and a population variance sigma squared. Well it turns out that the parameter mu in that normal distribution is a location or a shift parameter. If you want to see what a picture of that looks like, here is the axis x and if you have one normal distribution that is right here set around one value, let's call it mu1, and then you simply change that mu value to another value mu2 then all you've done is you have simply moved the distribution to the right or to the left and that's why they call it a location or a shift parameter. You're locating the parameter around a particular value. The second type of parameter is a scale parameter and we can again see that in the normal distribution. If you look at a normal random variable with mean mu and population variance sigma squared, then it turns out sigma in a normal distribution is a scale parameter. And what sigma does is it draws in the, if, if sigma happens to be small, then you'll have this same shape to the distribution, but the axis will reflect that it is more tightly clustered. Here is a second example of a scale parameter. Here is x and f of x, one of the distributions that's going to be introduced in this chapter is the exponential distribution. Here's a picture of the exponential distribution. It turns out if you let me choose the scale for this x-axis, then every single x exponential distribution that's out there will have a PDF that looks like this. The shape never changes, it's always the same, the only difference is in the scale and that is the scale parameter. Finally, you've got location, scale, finally you have shape parameters and here is x and here is f of x and for a shape parameter, for one value of the shape parameter it might look like this, for another value of the shape parameter it might look like this, for still another it might look like this. You might have a lot of different shapes to a uh, distribution and the picture I've drawn here is the shape parameter in the gamma distribution.